afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Boston Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins. The Red Sox look to match the longest winning streak in baseball history. Coming up next. Jake Odorizzi, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Well, that's going to wake everyone up. First pitch of the game. Now you understand why the manager puts this beast in the leadoff spot. That exactly. The left field. Into the box, Kevin Pillar. Drilled on the ground is short. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. That is third. The first base. Stepping in, David Ortiz. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. That is four. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. Hit hard to short. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Previous meetings with Jake Odorizzi. He's got five base hits in 23 at bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Digging hard. He's headed for third. And he is in there. That is good. The third baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. At the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, the last game, uh, they, they, they got to wash that down the drain. They got absolutely boat raced by a big... And he will get there to make the running play, and that... Two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Matt Barnes, a native of Connecticut, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's last three starts haven't been that bad, but he's picked up a no decision in all three. I'm sure he'd like to pick up the W in this one here today. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Digging. Not shortstop. Jorge. First pitch on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Arauz is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So striding in, Xander Bogarts. And he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Stepping in now, Pudge Rodriguez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. That average way, way up there to start things out. Seven homers and 21 driven in. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. 
one and two to the Red Sox catcher. A runner at first with no outs here. This is line to left. Rosario is there and he makes the catch for the out. Batting up. Stepping in, Jonathan Arauz. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Now a drive out to left center field. The relay throw. A tag from Donaldson is too late. He's in there with a triple. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hands back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. Line drive to left. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. At the plate now, Kevin Pillar. Strike taken to throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, David Ortiz. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Yeah, guys, that was the first triple of the year for him, and you got to believe it's not going to be his last. The way this guy can absolutely flop. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound, and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of boos after what can be described as really a subpar performance. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Line hard, deep into left. Rosario will get there, and he puts it away to retire the... Leading off the inning, Miguel Sano. And they'll need him to get something going here. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 oh 1. Sano is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his that fifth strikeout in the this series it. alone. Mitch Garver is at the plate, and he checks his swing for ball one. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Two out, nobody on. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts in the side. New inning set to get underway. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Now here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Buxton is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The back. The first now with the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 
Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was the winner of the A.L. Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. Here's Bogarts in the air out to deep left field. Rosario has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retreat. Settling in now. Leading off for the play. Darwin's and Hernandez is going right. to come on to pitch Eddie. here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Hernandez, pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead 0-1. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Twins are set down one. All set for the start of the fourth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Fudge Rodriguez. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Now back. Striding into the box, Jonathan Arauz. Jonathan. Right. First pitch coming, here it is. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Here's Mookie Betts, scooped up. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Roll. Home run earlier in the night. And that base hit right there drives in his third he's run going, that in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping you're rhythming. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Here it comes, 1-0. Runner goes for third. That's a strike to throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Bouncer to the left side. A throw to the plate, and he will beat the throw home. It's a 7 nothing contest. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. So now to the plate, David Ortiz. To second for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Now that. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. So it's... 
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Stepping up to the plate, Luis Arias. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So coming to the plate, Jorge Polanco. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. At the plate, Nelson Cruz. He flew out in his last at bat. In there, and it's 0-1. Cruz, or the Boomstick, as he's appropriately nicknamed. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down go the Twins in order. Leading off with the Red Sox, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now back. Stepping up now. Bobby, Bobby. Dahlbeck. He was a ground out Dahlbeck. victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a chopper for the shortstop. Throw on to first. Two gone. Ready once again, Xander Bogarts. His line includes a single and a fly ball in two at bats thus far. Popped him up. Polanco over to his right. And that retires the side. So nothing happening this time around. Heath Hembry will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. He fouled away. The 0-1 delivery. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Miguel Sano is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Behind 0-2 now. And it's 1-2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Striding in, Mitch Garver. He got called out on strikes his last time through. No balls in one strike. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Now that's popped up. Ortiz in foul ground. And that ends the inning. Leading off with the red card. The catch. First delivery to him on the way. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. I'm shocked this pitcher now keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better. Just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Here's a drive out toward left center field. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's eight to nothing. Homer Bailey gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. 
Rarely do you see a rookie have the kind of game he's having here. That's his third hit of the game, and I'd say... Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there, and I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. One and one, here it is. A line shot to third base. Tries to dance back to the bag to double off the runner, but not in time. Now back. Now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. The relay, and he is out at third. So credit him with a double and an RBI here. To the plate now, David Ortiz. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. And he is in to third base with a triple. His third hit this afternoon. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, man, you don't need any help from the fielders to give. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. Craig Kimbrell is going to get the call in something of a surprising move here as they're bringing in their closer in the sixth inning. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Rosario behind with an 0-2 count. Kimbrell, once a member of the Chicago Cubs organization, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now so that will bring in Byron Buxton. 0 for 1 oh, after yeah. he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. 0 and 1 the count. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. And that's how the inning comes to an end. Down go the Twins in order. Seventh inning ready to roll. Ready for another shot now. Jackie Bradley Jr. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bradley with wheels headed for second. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he'll get there as he kicks off the seventh with a leadoff triple. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. In now, Bobby Dahlbeck. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Bradley, the runner at third with no outs. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 10-0 score. Coming to the plate now, Xander Bogarts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runners off for second. In there, now the throw. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Donaldson's up with it, and that's the first out. Tyler Duffy enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Budge Rodriguez will be his first assignment down of the bullpen as he'll stand in with the runner in scoring position at second and one away. And this is cut on and missed below the knees and it's 0-1. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Rosario and this ball is gone. 
No chance to make a play on that one. Oh, man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is camped under this one, and that's out number two. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Drill down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Rosario. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. The next twin up, Luis Arias. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he fouls this one off. Louis. Oh, yeah. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Now a swing here on the fastball as this is squirted up the first baseline. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter number 11. He set and the pitch. This one's flared out toward left. Pilar moving in, and there goes the combined no-hitter. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty V, and this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, d -row. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game, but from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. Kimbrell's ready. Here's the 0-2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. One left for Minnesota. Digging in once again, Kevin Pillar. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Line drive to left. Rosario is there, and he has it for the out. Digging in and looking for more, David Ortiz. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. To the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0-for-4 ball game right here. The windup and the 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Buxton is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is Josh Donaldson digging in now he'll lead things off against the Leading same off. reliever that win. finished off the last the inning base well base. you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple oh, innings but guys have to earn that trust from their managers we'll see how he handles it here the catcher, number eight. at the plate Mitch yeah. Garver as he rips it on the ground to second there's one on the first and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now the left fielder, number three, Eddie. Eight. fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike hit back up the middle Bogarts has it and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over twins are down on four Set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batter. Digging in now, Bobby Dahlbeck. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. High in the air out towards shallow right. Under it is Cruz now for route number two. The bat, number two. Now batting, Xander Bogarts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0 1. 
See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. And it's fouled away. Slow little roller to third. Donaldson with a bare hand pickup. Hey, now. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. First pitch of the at-bat. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh you rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Standing in now Luis Arias. No balls and a strike to count. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. The first delivery to him on the way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Final strike for the Twins. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further game. away. We could say this now. Game.